Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Phantom Doctrine. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today in a uh, bit of a dash for evac. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make it. Uh, we are not going to get an airstrike on us, which is great. That's actually very, very, very important. We did get uh, reinforcements, and I, as far as I can tell, well, we're in very good reinforcements. But that's the uh, that's the distance right there that uh, that's going to mean evac compromised. Which is fine, because it, it back, doesn't asshole. run away. It's not one of those things that you just, you know, lose. Oh, no evac for me. Nope, that's not what happens. It's just uh, that uh, it, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it gets detected. It just gets detected, and they're like, aha, I saw that car. I know now how to, fig uh, how to okay. detect them in the map or something. Because, yeah. So, I think we're good. We have us all over here. We got three and three. Yeah, that's that. No, that was not that. Stony is back there. Stony, can you make it? Yes. Yeah, we're leaving. So plus forty on the comprom compromising things. Are we done standing around? We are. Need me? Mostly. Yeah, let's do stuff. <sighs> First time, I will accept this. Uh, I think because he went, the mission went well, basically. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was kind of fun. Um, let's see, evacuation. Yes, I always need to think which one it is. It was kind of fun because, uh, it, despite the the failure, because I did the calculation and uh, we had to contend with what was coming around and all this sort of stuff. We didn't get everything though, but Stick a fork in us. We're done. we did get a lot of stuff, uh, and it was and it now was gonna blow up because we planted explosives. That's how that's how it works. I'm not really sure if they can disarm them. It's not a Counter Strike, so maybe they can't. It's like it's gone now. And we got enemy revealed, an agent report, uh, body engineering talent revealed. Also a trade contract over there in new secret files. That's completely new secret files. Uh, and also a lot of material, which is good. I like those. And also, uh, we got Solo and Stony. They were compromised already. And we got training for everybody else, so that's pretty good. And nobody got injured, which is also pretty good. Uh, so let's look at our dossiers over here. Organization in place. I got word from the brass that they need a diversion for an upcoming op. Uh, I recommend the Roswell Gambit have a stealth jet make a couple of flybys, put on a light show, then dress up as Labarum, drive around, showcase some arm armed suits, the classics. Of course, make sure Redacted stays out of it and that they too think it's the real deal. It will give the whole thing this tinge of genuineness. You know, word of mouth from the wife of the local grunt to the neighbor to his kid to their pals and so on. Then A says, the red herring op at Dry Dock was a success. Our men said the event generated some interest, but their CO recommends a reinforcement. Uh, what do you think? B says, let's keep it simple. Where is the nearest Artemis unit stationed? A says, not too far, redacted. B says, ah, good. Can you tell me, can you tell them to dress in black and scare the shit out of, out of people? It will reassure them they're on the right track. A says, sure, I can do that. Should we do the disappearing coin number? B says, only if they're defiant or start asking intelligent questions. Throw them off balance, but not more than necessary. And we have Labarum and Dry Dock with very ominous sounding uh, things right there. Uh, nuclear deterrence is an illusion. Not because we are unable to prevent humanity from launching the nukes deliberately. After all, the complex owns top brass of all nuclear powers and can foil whatever splinter group or rogue faction, like the recent problem with Redacted or their partners, choir singers back in 1981, emerges from the woodwork. Uh, or a rogue faction emerges from the woodwork. That's that one. But there is still the small, albeit very real probability the war is triggered accidentally. Also... This should be after this, It'd make it easier to read. Of course, this it's supposedly written not by, by uh, the, the William Shakespeare or anybody, so it's fine. And the complex don't know probability as evidenced by the establishment my esteemed colleague selected for the meeting. During my days at agency, at the agency, I met Redacted, freshly returned from a mission that enabled America to build more nukes. I was asked my opinion on this accomplishment. I said we were on fa uh, fast track to become the index fossil of the turbulent geological period. Period. 
where concrete debris mixes with irradiated soil. We, uh, laugh we laughed, but I was being serious. Like many of the complex members, uh, we've learned about complex before. I'm not really sure. I've seen this not be like a part of this before, but hmm. uh, Nightcrawler did not appreciate the folly they put us in. And that's a person and an organization. But there's that's that's that. We just got those two documents. Thought we had gotten more, but uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, so we have uh, an enemy captured by the uh, the cabal. And what am I doing with? I did the interrogation already. Yeah, I'm very smart. Uh, so let's put a locator beacon in there, and uh, then a control phrase. And, uh, yeah, we're hopefully gonna have enough money to move out of here because we're gonna be detected. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna be detected. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, I just, I just messed up. Uh, so everybody's back here for whatever reason. Does that always happen? I suppose. Uh, let's see. So that's Sargoda, right? That is Sargoda. Okay. Let's send uh, people from Sargoda. Solo is exposed. I'm sorry. My cell phone apparently decided to uh, not be in mute. What is this? I never actually never do that. That's fine. You might have not heard it. Uh, let's look at a forger here because we are going to sign you. This is very important because that's how we make our money. Very good. And then we have you going all over the place. Okay. So, Carillon Ka goes over there. Uh, we can send... We're sending people already to over here. We got only Theramine in Denver. Uh, I'm going to send... Uh, uh, all from Sargoda. There is Coffin. Uh, I can send some. Is somebody up here? It is Empire. Okay. Uh, bleh, nobody in China, though. And uh, Sunspot goes over there. Tripoli, Moxie. And I think we're good. Fairly well distributed. Uh, major crew expansion. That's good, good news. Uh, let's uh, continue. And uh, that's good news because that's gonna allow us to uh, put the uh, put the control phrase in the guy that we're holding. Intel from Taipan. We re received a communication from Taipan in which he discloses the location of a Beholder Initiative safe house. He provided documents that prove that a portion of the Marquis cargo had been transferred there after the Glasgow fiasco. He also provided a fairly detailed dossier on the men who supposedly caused the shots in this operation. His name is Valhalla. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a new file over here. Person, organization, and organization. Name? Known. Uh, 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 aliases, I believe is how it's pronounced. Valhalla. Born in the 20th, I think that's how it goes, of July 1952. Novato, California, I suppose. Um, summary. Prodigy level intelligence. Impatient. Irreverent. Known history, 1952, born after his father's death in Korea. Subject is raised by mother and grandmother, 1960. To ensure top-level education for a subject, mother joins UCLA. That's a university, I think, or a school. As office clerk and obtains a national stipend, advised so by the staff. 1972, subject uh, recruited by Redacted makes, quote, brilliant, unquote, division chef's comment. Um... Contributions to the program, specializing in signal interception and replacement, as well as advanced communications technology. In 1974, several fields deplo field deployments to test new gear after repeated demands of, for the opportunity. Captured by Loud Hive, escapes in unknown fashion. Explanation given in report, unverifiable. 1975, promoted to the Vision Chief after the death of his predecessor. See report HAG7202 for details. 1977, subject leaves the forces after a series of mishaps and accidents that caused the de death of 40% of the division staff. All details on previous operations highly classified. Founds and, uh... Me founds? Founds, maybe? F well, I suppose founds. I just don't know the word. Founds and manages... Oh, right. And manages country's best shortly thereafter. Right. 1980, country's best... That's the thing. Uh, begin official collaborate collaboration with the redacted subject moves to the other entity as project director. Roland Shelley, which we have heard of before, replaces subject as CEO of Country's Best, 1982 current. Uh, subject withdraws from public spotlight. 
focusing on, quote, research and development, unquote. But that's the only thing we have right now. Uh, we don't really have any new things. Uh, okay, so we got training coming up, and that means that Spirit is going to be able to get out of there. I'm probably going to send her over here to Omsk, for example. We have uh, somebody here in Riga. Uh, we are going to infiltrate that when we have people up here, right? That would be Flint and uh, Spitball. It's, yeah. Splitball, Splitball, Spitball, and Flint. He also has Infiltration Talent, which is good. Start. Go. And, uh, and we have our training as well, uh, which is very nice. So let's pause that spirit done over here, which means I can send her to Kiev. Let's send her to Kiev. I, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have... Because the thing is, like, there's nobody else in here in Europe. It's Vienna. Might be a little bit better. There we go. And everybody else is traveling. Now we're waiting for that, and we are... We have an active Beholder cell. And that's going to be a problem, because... I don't know when it's going to start, but it's going to start pretty soon. We are getting a lot of money, but uh, unfortunately they're not stealing from us. And that's done. Danger, high level. Okay. Um, pause. Can you close? Thank you. Let's save. Just in case. Just in case, because we're leaving as soon as we can. Uh, so, we, yeah, we're infiltrating that. It's gonna take forever. Uh, let's see. So, we're... Let's wait two hours. Ooh. That jumped fast, didn't it? There it is. Okay. Uh, back to facility. So, he has a locator beacon. He has control phrase as well. So, I need to release him. Yeah, let's release him before we move. I'm not really sure if that matters, uh, but let's do that. So assign that, and let's just do that very fast. And off he goes. Okay. So that means we are only dealing with the active beholder cell. Fine with me. Let's uh, hope that we can move. Never know where the... I never know where the uh, hideout thing is over here. It's in analytics. Why would that be? I don't know. Uh, we can go to Nova Zibirsk. We could get new agents. How expensive is that? It's kind of expensive. Are we going to get new agents? Sure, let's get new agents. We have a lot of new guys, or new things. Uh, let's see. So they're all level 6. Uh, let's look at maximum hit points, because that's something I really enjoy. Uh, although, to be honest, right now, they're all the same. So let's go with Poodle. Let's hire him. How much? That's kind of a lot of money. Oh, that's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. So we're going to need a little bit of money. And the reason why it's not is, uh, let's see, current. Ooh, also there's another problem over here. Just make sure everybody has correct the correct things. The reason why it's not because we can sell a lot of stuff. That's why. There it is. Okay, this is Poodle. It's a new guy. He, the well, he can. It's good. It's good news. He gets that, uh, and he's gonna get a semi twelve. Let's see, Flint over here uh, already has something like that. Some people need training. No, Poodle needs training right there. What does he have? Gifted, uh, combat senses, increased maximum awareness. That's pretty good. And then over here, okay. And then he's gonna get increased. Yeah, absolutely. Movement is very very nice. Uh, let's see, you already have that, you already have that. In terms of armors, we're sort of doing relatively well in regards to the ones that slow them down, which are the ones that I don't use, or tend not to use. I probably should. Yeah, there it is. So, hopefully... Well, that's that, isn't it? Solo, get that out. Uh, you're gonna not gonna have any armor, that's how I'm gonna run with you. No armor for you! Because the idea here with the armor is precisely to make sure that I have all available armor at any moment for any team that I want. Um, I also have Solo over here ready to go. He's got Survivor. He's got uh, protection from harmful effects and all sorts of good things. Uh, Brickhead, Quick Recovery, Stalker. Stalker is kind of good. really like that. Uh, and then over here you have Dancer, which is just dead dodging things and stuff like that. Combat Senses, Stalker, Brickhead, and Paramedic. Movement bonus on carrying unconscious characters for Stony. 
Let's go with increased maximum awareness. I'm not really sure I need to carry unconscious characters or worry about that. Uh, and we have Coffin over here as well. Uh, so he's got increased damage threshold and improves benefits from full cover. Cannot be suppressed. Uh, that's peripheral vision is a very good one. Uh, increased maximum hit points is also pretty awesome. No, I like that a lot. It's like 112. That's uh, We need those to knock down people that are good. Because um, we can't damage them unless we want to um, alert everybody else. Okay, so before we do anything else still, uh, I need to sell. Sell things. So we have... This is an SMG. It's a good SMG. Need to go into buy sell. We have that. We can sell you. There it is. What's our money situation? Good enough. That's our money situation. See? Easy peasy. Yeah, tricks and being good at the game. Novosibirsk! Yeah, good stuff. Let's go. It's interesting that we never hire people, like, to do... I imagine a, 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 a spy agency would have a lot of, like, minion, minial stuff. Uh, people, like, experts in, like technical things like how do you power this whole operation you need you need to have people that knew um, contracts for electrical suppliers and you need to service your own electrical things and all your computers and then you need cleaning crews and it's just like there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff involved in that okay so we got poodle poodle is not doing anything forger are we all doing yeah good 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 now poodle is moving and we have active beholder cells. Yeah, let's just send Poodle uh, just to London. This is good. Uh, so you go. Right. Uh, everybody else is good to go? Yeah. As far as I can tell, anyway. Of course, we have that beholder cell, which is a problem. And we have people in here. Okay, so you... Uh, I have uh, here in Madrid. We have Carillon. And uh, send him over here. And over there, we have Spirit in Vienna. And she's going to Stockholm. Uh, right there. And down here in Beirut, we have uh, Lamster, most likely, in Kuwait. Yep. Go, Lamster. Uh, so, three things at the same time. Sounds good to me. And also over here in Denver, we have Theremin. Theremin has already explored everything there is to see in Denver. Now he's going to, to uh, San Francisco. Is it San Francisco? Or is it California? Where, where did I send him? Is that San Francisco? Is that San Francisco? I don't know. We got a new end. A new agent candidate. I was going to mispronounce it again. I was going to say that her name was Shoot First. She, that's not her name. She, it's Shootist. Shootist is her name, and uh, it's its a weird name. It's a weird nickname, I suppose, because it is a nickname. Uh, so, Empire is right there. I think we're going to be fine. We just need to find this Beholder Cell. Well, we know where the Beholder Cell is. Well, it might be two, because it's like plus four. And yeah, we have stuff over here. Uh... Interrupt up. Was well, still the agent. Wait a minute. 84. Enemy scout will increase danger by 84 and compromise any cabal agents present in the location. Well, let's interrupt the operation then. Let's not let them do that, because I don't like it. It's basically how that goes, I suppose. Also, I didn't look at what we have over here. Conspir yeah, that's plus four. Okay, so it's just one, one thing. We'll make do, I think. Uh with this situation um, shouldn't we know where our enemy agent is known agents isn't there there's a th yeah there it is Gemini bliss he's in Riga right now that's yeah that's maybe why we found that that's kind of cool okay yeah, that's, that's fine with me. Our danger is going up, but... And we have something else. We have two th something else's. Let's send Hellion right there. And let's send Spirit over here. Actually, yeah, Spirit is right there. So, nothing found. Uh, and uh, Geneva, we have something good. Carillon, go over there. Back to Spain. And uh, we have something here in Casablanca. Let's send you over there. In, Mo in the... I was gonna say Moscow. In Morocco. That's, that's the name of the country. Uh, and uh, I think that's everything is good. No, nope, not for this one. No agents in range. Uh, what is this one? Enemy scout will increase the danger by 102 uh, and compromise any cabal agents present in the location. 
Let's steal the agent if we can. Uh, it's a three person job. Yeah. I think it's now starting to pay having all those agents. This is a messy world scenario right now. We're st still probably going to need to um, to uh, to invade or something. Uh, we have a mission over here. And we have an informer. Wait a minute. The mission just now started. The informer was there already. Uh, so we need people over here. The problem is... Many problems. Uh, let's do a recon. And I'm going to send Poodle, so he's going to need to come from there. We are going to be fine. That's going to take a little while, though. So how long is that going to take? 15 hours. Two hours. Okay, that's good enough. This is going to end pretty soon. Of course, it is a little bit weird, because I think these ones give uh, way to another mission. Let's see. Enemy job was interrupted. The enemy operation interrupted. Hostile assets withdrew to safety. Got a little bit of experience, uh, but we're going to pause now. Uh, yeah, that disappeared. Okay, so Lamster is in Beirut. Okay, let's send Moxie upstairs. Upstairs? <laughs> let's send Moxie up, up north instead. Uh, let's keep him there. We got plenty of agents in Europe, so I think, yeah, having him down there is probably a good idea. Now let's hope that Moxie is, is not needed in Murmansk, because if she is, then that's bad news, because we're kind of late. And she's not needed. This is great. Okay. So this is going to take six more hours. It's got an investment over here. We have something over here. Uh, what? Oh, right there. Okay. Did I find that? I mean, it's in Russia, so technically it could be. It's like, hey, falling from the other side of the country. I think there's something going on in Baku. It's, I think they're trying the Winter Olympic, Olympics thing. It's, it's a few decades too early. I say... Mentioning the only thing I know about Baku. Uh, let's see. Also that it's expensive, according to some Russian people that I know. Uh, Poodle and Carillon have done that, and we have now identified the target. Right. That was a tactical recon. And now we're good to go. Why do we only have three people? Is it because there are only three people available? No, there's more of them. Because it's the way the mission works. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. So. Remove the agents. Let's do this. This is gonna be good. Okay. So. Um, the idea here is to get in and out without being... Uh, I'm gonna try and do a super stealth mission. So, I'm gonna send Moxie because she's just always amazing at that. Uh, Thermin not. Uh, Codex. Codex absolutely goes in. And he's not going to be wearing that. Let's see what else we have over here. Who else we have over here? Carillon. Oh, yeah. Carillon is going to be good. Okay. So, next step. Use armor that people don't get upset about. That's going to slow us down, though. So, let's not... The, the best the best uh, speed is not being shot at. That's That's what I like. So, get that over there. And, uh... We can use these, absolutely. I'm, I mean, I still need some contingency measures. So, I'll bring some grenades, just in case. Uh, and I can get ha Lamster over there. I, I think there's there might be, like, talents or something. I can't tell from... Can I tell from here? Doesn't look like it. So, we're good. Okay, we're launching. We're going to Casablanca. And, uh, we're... <laughs> well, we're bringing proper shotguns over here. These are the kind of shotguns that if if uh, Customs saw that, it would be like, nope, that's uh, there's no need for paperwork on that one. That's that's proper warfare material right there. Those are like those are mean looking shotguns. Uh, conspiracy operatives have captured one of our informers. Protect the asset and retrieve their intel, if possible. Eliminate any opposition. Really? So it's a rescue mission. Ain't I lucky about what I decide to do and when I decide to do it? Ain't I like? Ain't I? Ain't I? Mm, oh, I know this mission all well. I like this mission. Let's uh, go from the north. That's where I like you to be, because that's we're not going from there. Shake that camera. Yeah, don't crash against that. That would be the uh, result of that. He's crashing against that truck. There's no way you'd let your rear lo rear lose. This thing is not rear engine or rear rear. Is it actually? It might be rear. Like rear um, 
driven. Real, real driven. I, anyway. So we're all very fine with this. Uh, Codex, Moxie is in here, and she can absolutely turn off some security measures. So our, our, oh boy. Oh, this is going to be all great. This is going to be all like, I love it. So disable that. Achoo! I like mm, my extra sound effects. Just I'm 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 12, so actually not even. I, I think at the age of 12, I was already being taught that extra sound effects are lame. Uh, so I'm eight, I think. Uh, so let's see. We need that. How many do we have? We have five loots and three papers. Tell me, there's nothing here. Dang it, there's something here. Okay. Um. Kill all the hitmen. That's that's one of them. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. So there's some over there. So we absolutely need to be here. There's two things over here. So might as well just start by sending somebody. And it's... Oh, no. That's not how that works. Please don't murder people immediately. Okay. So you go right there. And uh, mingle with the police officers. Just make sure they don't they, they, they don't talk to them because they'll notice you can can't say uh, can speak Arabic. I don't know, but I don't I don't know what language I, um, Arabic. Maybe I don't know. I don't know the language of Morocco. How how I how dare I? Anyway, a neighboring country of mine, and that's yeah. Anyway, so we have this destination. We should be able to do it with Moxie. If it's just a kill, we should be able to do it. Uh, and then we have this over here, and that's going to connect very easily to Moxie. It's going to be a bit of a problem, considering that thing is locked, but it's not going to be too much of one, because we can go in through there. No problem. Uh, then, 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 there's the upstairs, of course. The upstairs is going to be where all the fun is going to be. I mean, I think... Uh, and then there's this thing over here. Now, the problem here... I was just thinking about The main... You issue that I'm having is whether or not we have a time limit. I'm thinking we don't, So, and I'm betting we don't. And if we do, I'm restarting, because I want to uh, rescue our, our pal. We'll see what we can do for papers and things. That's how we, it works. Okay. Ooh, look at that. You can go right there. Nobody's going to see you. And you're going to steal the documents. There it is. One. It's not documents. It's uh, it's loot. You got one. Good. Uh, then Moxie ass. disables this. Which is good, because we do need to come through there. And then we need to take those documents for us. Then you are just going to keep going. Uh, it doesn't matter, really, the direction. And you're good to go. Enemy activity. This is just no normal police officers. That civilian is going to be all sorts of joy. Because if I uh, they need to be taken down, basically. Okay, you're, I'm going to wait with you. Uh, I'm going to take that. There's nobody down here, which is great. Let's see what we find. We find one restricted document. Okay, and let's also see what we find in here. I'm gonna hide behind the door. I think it no I know exactly what No, I don't know exactly what's going on in here. We could take you out. Uh that's a hitman. So I need to be right on top of you if I wanted to kill you. Nasty. Really Fine. nasty. Okay, then you go right through there. And then you I don't know where you're going. There's no reason to be here. So you just need to go back inside. Let's go upstairs. So upstairs we have that place uh, that has a, a thing for us. We have another place, but that's a main desk that we need to plant to, or steal the microfilms, actually. Um, so that's another thing that we need to do on our way out, maybe. If we leave from this room this way and just jump uh, that way or something. Sounds like a good plan. And then we have something else over there, which is a lot worse. Uh, but this might be 
uh, the, the free space might not uh, require uh, access IDs or anything. So let's find out. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go in through this door. Nobody's gonna see me. I'm gonna go out that door, and it's all gonna be fine. As long as the guy upstairs is not about to be killed, because if he is indeed about to be killed, like our handler told us, it he, they were. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's bad. So you go right there. Nobody notices. Uh, you go right here, and you are gonna shoot them as such. Reporting secondary objective complete. Well done. Don't say well done as if you're upset that I did it. <laughs> okay, now she can. She should be able to go upstairs. Uh, no, we do have Haystack over here, and he's uh, he's like a he's a big 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 boss. So it's gonna be. Uh, she does have actor, doesn't she? Where is she? She does have actor, so we might be able to get past. It's a bit of a gamble, but uh, I'll, I'll gamble on it. So, uh, there is the possibility that this is a person. And we can't be in here. We're going to be detected. But I can be right there and open that door. And be like, hey, y'all. Hello. It is a civilian, which is good news. And nobody is detecting a fallen comrade, which is good as well. <laughs> don't don't do that. Uh, let's see. Then you are gonna need to go up that staircase, and you are gonna need to go up this staircase, and you are uh, definitely taking that. Cause oh right, because he's trespassing, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if these are civilians or not. We should be hidden, right? <laughs> I'm not really sure we are. Hey. Hey. Okay. So, let's hope that this is not trespassing. It doesn't look like it so far. Then you... Can't go across there. Can you go across here? She can. Okay, two out of three. And then we have the uh, microfilms, the second stage of the mission. That's heavy armor mark two, which is the nice, I suppose. It's mark two, so yeah. And then nobody, nobody just comes in here. This is fantastic. I love this patrol route. Or the lack thereof. Uh, and of course, there's people up there. And this is reserved. But this is not. So going up there is a problem. Uh, but not for Moxie. So I probably will just have her do it. Uh, we can get that. I mean, being back here is a problem. Package secured. Affirmative. Okay. So, let's send her up there. Oh. Uh, let's see, you... <laughs> I like how he said, package secured. You just can't get enough of me, can <laughs> so you? So creepy. So creepy. Okay, so it's a shame that we can't go in through... Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a lot of issues to, for us to resolve, because that door is locked and we didn't bring lockpicks. So the reason I'm coming over here is because I think there is something to steal. I was just there is thinking indeed. about you. So Moxie is gonna need to do it all herself, and hopefully she will be able to do it. You just can't get enough of me, can ya? Okay, let's try and hide you over here. We should be able to get him over there, because the this the civilian over here is not moving. So I think we're gonna be alright. It also looks like uh eh, we should be fine. It also looks like it also having disabled that. I'm not really sure. Missed it, me. It would be funny. Bear with me here. It would be funny if there were allies to them. Excuse the hiccup. Always hiccups. Uh, allies to them in there. Let's find out. 
Don't look over here. They are not. Oh, because there were before, and that's why I was saying that. Um, okay, so we got a simple, straightforward mission. We are not going to be able to disable those people right now. Also, need, I was just thinking about need to make you. sure I know what exactly my bodies are. I'm pretty sure nobody's going to check their room. Uh, let's take that over there. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. An MG-51, which I assume is successor to the uh, heavy machine guns of German make, maybe? I don't know. Uh, and you're gonna be here. I wonder what you can do. You can do a takedown right now. That's curious. Is there no body in there? Nobody else in there, I mean. Doesn't look like there is. So, yeah, we're gonna do two takedowns. We're gonna take out the uh, takedown civilian and take down this guy. Ask for uh, evac. It's gonna be that one. So, I think we have everything more or less under control. Uh, not really. I think this guy just gets rescued. And this, that's that. Uh, the exit route. Seems pretty straightforward through the inside. Oh, these villains are going to be a problem. We're going to need to take down the people outside as well. We're going to need to start working on that. Okay. Uh, so you're going to stay there. Yeah. So I, as far as I can tell, there's only one person outside. So this guy needs to go down as well. Uh, and even then, it's going to be sort of a mess. But we're going to figure it out. So, we can take this. For us to get this perfectly without being detected, that's gonna be quite a challenge. So, we're, lo we're missing one loot, which is exactly the loot that is back there. Uh, where we're going right now with Moxie. She's just going down there. Contact. No contact. No contact. No, no, that wasn't. I don't, I didn't see that. I, or rather, I saw that. I just don't agree with your interpretation of what co constitutes contact in this particular instance, uh, due to uh, um, the philosophical differences. I I guess we can tally it up to philosophical differences. Let's go with that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Also known as safe scum. That's that's what that is. Okay, so do that and then start moving back, right there. Oh, and by the way, the contact is with Karila. I uh, absolutely failed to realize that he is uh, he is exposed. So let's hope that this works well. Okay, much better. Yeah, like it's not even barred. It's like ah, you're inside here. I'm gonna shoot you. Mm, that's that. I was just thinking about you. I can't. I mean, I can't. Can't say they're wrong to do it. I am, after all, an agent of the cabal. But, uh, but it's a little bit too trigger happy, my friend. A little bit too trigger happy. He does have a heavy machine gun, though. So, yeah. It's also interesting. They're the, at the back of a mall. Me. And, uh, and yeah. Okay, so Mox is gonna be able to take him out. I think, right? No problem. Uh, just with a shot. Uh, and the civilian is going to be a pain in the butt. Need me? Uh, but now is where our evac situation starts. Also, our where our episode ends because we're out of time for the day. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Phantom Doctor. And I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.